so hungry this morning that I have no food. Because I ate it all. Oh, so you know what? I have half an avocado. I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> okay, but actually this is gonna be pretty good. You just gotta season it. And then it's like you're eating guacamole out of the shell. It's fantastic. And when you have no other option, I will tell you it'll do the trick. At least until I get to the airport. Then I just kind of like mash it up a little bit. Mmm. This sink is so loud. This is like surprisingly very good. <laughs> the flavor impact is like 10-10 and it's so quick. No plates getting used and dirtied in the process. I have a lot of time. It's 8.55 and my flight has already been delayed. So I'm really, really, really hoping we're not about to go down the same saga of travel nightmare that we went through getting here. That would not be my, that would not be happy. water bottle in there. I was suckered into it. I saw it on Amazon. And I bought it. What are the odds? Maybe. Yes. I just put some clothes in there. Make some room. There we go. Perfect. Now, will this actually close? Is my last question. Bye room. Until next time, let's go. I gotta call my Uber. Mm -hmm. This company sent me um, a whole box of snacks that I so conveniently now get to eat. And they are so good. They are so good. Mm. I wish I could bring this on my plane. Okay, only thing left to do is take up my trash. Oh, and turn off my AC. Oh my God. Mm. That is so good. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Off. Good, good. Do not want to be getting charged for my AC when I am not here, because that seems like a big waste of money. I'm procrastinating. Okay, okay. I gotta take out the trash. Okay, now I really gotta call the Uber. One very fun thing about this travel day is that Jill and I happen to be traveling on the same day. And the last time we did this, we did a little secret surprise. Jill's flight was first, she left this morning, and she hid a little letter for me somewhere in the airport. We're flying into the same terminal. Okay, we're at Sunset News, the first little news stop in uh, the terminal. Stephen King novel in the corner here. It's gonna be the fourth book back on page 168. Good luck. <laughs> so that's the first thing I'm gonna do as soon as I get to the airport. The first thing I do is find my little letter from Jilly. Uh, until next time. Ooh, I got a lot of feels today. I got a lot of feels. We're okay. Here we go. All right. Okay, we're in. I think it should be here. Let me just. Thank you, Nala. Corner here. It's gonna be the fourth look back. 168. 168. Okay, Jilly. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. 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 And yes. Hmm. Where is it? Okay, I gotta look at every single book here. Great book. Hmm. <laughs> I think someone might have bought it, which is very funny. Well, not very funny, actually. This is very sad. 
don't know what to do. Maybe maybe they moved it to a different store. Also, it's so weird being at the airport these days. Like, most people aren't wearing their masks anymore. I don't really know what the rules are. There are employees not wearing masks. So I'm kind of like, all right. Follow the, the status quo. I am so sad right now. Found the book. No note. So sad. That was very depressing. I was so excited. I went on a hunt, like honestly the last probably 50 minutes, almost an hour. I've been hunting for this thing. I've had workers try to help me. Sad day, sad day. But now I'm bored in 10 minutes. I also picked up a box of cheese. Tomatoes, jalapenos, cheese, cheese, of course. Wow. Well, that's a nice little surprise. Thank you. On the board and everything. It smells like, oh my God, it's got the smell still. Ooh. I like it. I think it looks good. It looks good. It's I think the only it's good. thing that could look good there. Yeah. I'm going to style it. I'm gonna sell it in the morning. The, the backyard. Cute. I gotta get a table out of there ASAP. Yeah, before the... The sum is over. Yeah. Things to be done. Wow, that's really pretty. I do this every single time. Every single time I come and go, I get so emotional. Also, this is my tripod all the time. So, just so you know, whenever you're propped up anywhere, you're on the paper towel. Genuinely, as soon as I walk in, I always just feel like a lot of feels. <sighs> My mom picked me up breakfast for tomorrow, which is so nice. Hard boiled eggs. And an avocado. So nice. I forgot how nice this fridge is too. Lots of nice things here that I forget about when I get used to like being in LA. And tonight's dinner is brilliant. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, you know what I might do? I might put some, just some chili onion crunch. Here we are. Mmm. Okay. All right. We're back. Okay, this is the best my room has ever looked. Look at the bed. It was made gorgeously. I really want to show you like the whole room, but I don't want to expose the nightstands. I want to show you guys, but also, I also really want to save them for like a full reveal when the room is done. But the bed looks good. I did get a package that I've been waiting for for like months and I'm so excited because it's a brand that my family has been obsessed with for so many years. My family loves MeUndies. <laughs> they reached out to work with me and I am not kidding. I was so excited. So now I get to join the club. Okay, for some reason I feel like doing this here in the hallway, but MeUndies is known to be like the comfiest stuff. I got this little romper. Very soft, very like stretchy feeling, like very stretchy. Ooh, what do we have here? Just a nice black cozy hoodie. Joggers. You guys know me, I'm very basic. I picked all of the most basic colors you could get, but they have so many colors, so many cool prints, so many different styles. Like here's a little bralette, matching underwear. Here's another little bralette. Everything is ethically sourced and sustainable, which is fantastic. And also they have great sizes. I think it's from like extra small to four XL. Here's a little t-shirt. Okay, I'm throwing the joggers on like yesterday. <laughs> Can confirm, these are very comfy. I understand why my parents have a ton of these. And because they're sponsoring today's video, they're actually giving you guys 20% off if you go to meandies.com slash Michelle. I will have it down below in case you wanna check it out. There are so many styles, so soft, so lightweight, sustainable, like so many great things about the company. Very, very excited, very grateful. Thank you so much. Now I gotta like wash myself up and then even though it's like 9.30, I'm crawling into bed so I can start at least feeling like it's a wind down time because it's 6.30 in LA and that means I wouldn't be tired. So I gotta like at least fake it pretend 
that I'm sleepy by being in bed. That's at least the logic. Lots going on tomorrow, so we will pick up the vlog then. We're really back. I mean, we knew that. We knew. Successfully did not spill. Look how good that looks. Hold on. Better. She is the moment. I am tired this morning. I I went to bed. It was almost two. I never see that hour anymore. Like I don't I don't do it. But the body just didn't want to sleep. It just wanted to keep scrolling on TikTok. I have to get my hands on some brown sugar creamer. Stat. It's gonna be a busy few days here and I gotta like mentally wrap my head around it. Today I have to do like settle back in things. Like I gotta get my groceries. I gotta get these nails done. Look at this. It broke when I was at Disney and it was a very sad time. And it looks like a little nub. <laughs> I haven't had like short nails in a minute, which is so weird. Cause I like for the longest time, I just never did my nails. But now I'm hooked and I've committed to the lifestyle. But it looks so funny. It's just a little baby nub. Anyways, I'm doing that. And then I think I'm going to rack my energy to go to a party that Sarah is having. I think I'm gonna successfully manage. We'll see. Tomorrow I have plans during the day and then Sunday I think I'm gonna go to this like pop up with Brie. Today I'm actually posting the whole breakup thing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like super in my head about it. I haven't posted it yet and I have anxiety. Not about sharing it with you guys. Like, like I wanna do that and I wanna like, you know, get on the same page again. I'm more so in my head, I'm like, did I ramble on too much? Like I wanted to talk about the whole general relationship thing and relationships on the internet and then I'm, I'm like in my head I'm just like oh I should have just said it in passing but then I also counter that thought and I'm like no I want to sit down with you guys and like be honest and open up and actually talk about it and connect because that's the whole point of like talking about this kind of stuff I don't know I'm so back and forth in my head about like quick little yeah we broke up or just sitting down chatting and I used to always just go for the sitting down chatting but for some reason as I got older it just felt like too vulnerable like i don't know who's watching these things which are these things my vlogs <laughs> i think i'm just gonna stick with my gut and when i filmed it i felt good about it go from there i hope people don't like think i'm bashing him or saying too much i don't know i don't know what the right balance is mm. this is actually still very yummy actually may as well have some breakfast actually well is this even good i don't know about you could be squishier Mm. We're gonna shoot the shot. Mm. Nice to have consistency. <laughs> my video i posted it i'm feeling much better now honestly it's been lingering in my head and i've been anxious about it but posting it and like having you guys know sorry that was maybe gross letting you guys know what's kind of going on in my life i feel so free i feel so free like it's just a relief to like kind of just get it all out there I feel like i can be very authentically myself and just like just feel Peace. I'm not crying. It's the context you guys saw. <laughs> but I do want to say thank you so much for all of the nice comments. I've been reading literally every single one. I have my nail appointment in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna get myself ready. Go get my nails done. I've decided I'm gonna do the Hailey Bieber nail. It's like, I think what she does is Funny Bunny. One coat of Funny Bunny with a white chrome on top. Not sure how I'm gonna like it, because I feel like that's kind of aggressive. But at the same time, I really want to try it. I'm seeing all these pictures and it looks really cute, but We'll see. I get biogel, so I'm not totally sure if they have funny bunny. I don't I don't really know all the nail things. But I'm gonna get myself ready now and we're gonna go and do that. Look at my little nub. Alright me. Alright guys, we're heading out. Here's my little outfit. I think it's gonna be really hot outside. I'm actually kind of excited. It's gonna feel like an actual real summer. Because LA it's a little too mild out there for me. A <laughs> little too mild. But we're off. I'm really excited. Finally. <laughs> They're very cute. I've never done chrome before, but look how cute. It's cool, it's different, it's not like the classic neutral white. I kind of love it so much. 
I'm kind of obsessed. It's also just so nice to have the fresh nails. They're a lot shorter, which feels really weird to me. I'm like, oh, did I get them too short? But I just got really used to how long they were and they were too long, but I think they look amazing. Hailey Bieber, we love you. I'm also hungry and I don't know if I have, what can I eat before I eat groceries? What shall I eat? No. I have to order groceries, that's what I have to do. Okay, so I'm on Instacart and I wanna place my order, but I just, I have a hard time ordering all my groceries until I figure out what I wanna make for the week. It's just so helpful. I basically just kind of throw in meals that I like and I put them through the days and then I figure out what I need to get. It's very basic, very simple, but it's very helpful. I wanna make this like chickpea stew again that I made. I'm trying to remember what's in it, but that was so good. So I gotta put that maybe that's a Sunday vibe, a Sunday evening, Sunday dinner, Sunday dinner. Ooh, wait, yay. Pause on the food planning. I think I'm gonna go for a little walk with Lee. I've mentioned this before, but my best childhood friend, like my longest friend of all time moved down the street from me and I am beyond happy about it. So she's taking a little pause from her day and we're gonna go for a little stroll. And then I'm gonna go out tonight. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do this until I head out again. Okay, just placed my order and I went through all the things. Look at this, $20 for you, $20 for me. I'll have this link in the description if you want to, you know, order on Instacart. I am very pro ordering groceries on the internet. <laughs> Saves time and especially if you don't drive, like myself. It's just much easier, much easier. Okay, so we're gonna go for a little walk. Actually, I'm gonna try and have a snack before I go. But also we're gonna go and sit on her roof and read, so. up there so we just kind of hung out and chatted and now it's 5 30 my groceries got delivered literally as i was walking over here so that is brilliant let me actually go through it all vegetable stock medium salsa block of feta chickpeas mio got some basil fresh basil one red onion for the chickpea stew avocados broccoli thing of tofu spinach sweet potatoes i got carton of eggs, got some chicken, and then a big thing of grape tomatoes. Okay, so I think I'm leaving here in around an hour to go to Sarah's party. Rachel's picking me up and we are gonna go over there together. She's hosting a pop-up this weekend, so today is like a little preview. So that's gonna be really fun. I gotta get myself ready, but I also should check my computer and check things out. I also have to eat at some point. Okay. Okay, it's seven o'clock. I have been go, 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 go. Um, I made two chicken lettuce cheese wraps, scarfed those down. Then I quickly got myself ready. I am ready to go. Here's my little outfit. Cute cash, summer. But Rachel's gonna be here any minute and uh, then we're gonna go and I'm really excited to see her and Sarah and drink espresso martinis. Sarah said they are gonna be there. And I love me an espresso martini. So it has been a day. I didn't anticipate so many things happening today. I just knew I was getting my nails done and I'm still obsessed. Okay, see ya. It is 10 p.m. 
I am home. What a day it's been. First day back in Toronto. I would say it was a success. I feel like this vlog has gotta be so long. I've just been talking and talking and talking. So I am going to end it here. I also have to start editing it. Like I'm gonna get in bed now and do some editing. Cause tomorrow's gonna be busy. Sunday's gonna be busy. I just no time to edit. So I'm gonna get in bed and do that. But before I do, I just wanna say like, I think, I think I'm feeling the effects of the iron supplements. And I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's just like less, energy getting put into something else that I feel like I have more energy for other things. But I'm very surprised at myself, normally this amount of social in one day, just like even the one outing like nails and Leandra, that would have been a lot. <laughs> I would have come home and been tired and like socially drained. But like, I still don't feel like my battery's at zero and it's so easy for my battery <laughs> to like get drained. And then I wanna do nothing the next day and I don't feel that way. I really haven't done anything different. It's just taking the iron. It's been like a month now since I've been taking it. My doctor said that it could take up to like three months to feel any effects, but I, I don't know, I do feel more energized in a way that I haven't in a long time. And I feel really good. And I honestly just feel so good that you guys know what's up. Like I just feel like it just creates a barrier in my mind personally, knowing that you guys don't know what's going on and I can't fully say things. And so I feel free and I feel really, really good. And I'm excited to figure out my shit and like become a well-rounded human. I wanna like get to know this city finally. I feel like I'm at a place where I can do that now. And it don't, doesn't stress me out to think about. So. I'm in a really good place. I'm really excited for what's to come in the future and just everything. So I hope that I can, you know, give a little of that to you guys and bring you along on this crazy journey that we go on here together. <laughs> We've been going on together for a long time and I'm endlessly grateful for this life and this community and just everything. But I'm gonna end the vlog because my battery is blinking and it's already so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. So excited for things to come and I will see you next time. Bye.